Welcome to Watermelon! Who among us hasn't tried to parody someone famous? It's both amusing and entertaining. Even celebrities can resist the urge to impersonate their fellow stars, so get ready for some lighthearted and often hilarious celebrity parodies. You've probably heard Dwayne Johnson's motivational speeches at least once, right? My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. Uh, no boss can do it. You versus you. Jack Black flawlessly delivered such a speech right in front of him, and The Rock was not disappointed. Uh, bleed, <laughs> blood, sweat, tears. <laughs> That's the approach that I take to life. That's how I approach everything. Present to enjoy your loved ones, your family, things, that, the other thing. And then projects, I gotta go. <laughs> wow, that was good. Yahya Abdul-Mateen presented a more casual version of The Rock, but still a very convincing one. Uh, one of my thousand movies coming out right now on Netflix. We did we, we did number one. We just crossed two trillion screen, the streams. Rock. Okay, <laughs> there we go, buddy. If you smell! His Tom Hardy impression, however, is something he can't be proud of. Remember how Bane sounds at Batman? Bum is armed. This bum is mobile. Now, take a look at what Yaya came up with. This sounds like Master Yoda. Everything. Fear is the path to the dark side. Maybe Idris Elba can do Bane better. I've been here, Nye. Uh, I don't think so. If anyone wants to remake the movie Pool Hall Junkies, they must definitely consider casting Chris Pine. Remember Christopher Walken's monologue? Look at this lion. He's the king of the jungle. He's laying down under a tree in the middle of Africa. Come over, making trouble. Still, nothing. Now compare it to how Chris Pine delivered it. This is this lion. <laughs> He's the king of the jungle. We got a big mane out there. She starts messing with him, coming over, making trouble. <laughs> still, still, nothing. And if, for some reason, they remake Harry Potter, we know exactly who will get the role of Severus Snape. I couldn't possibly tell you unless you guess it, Harry Potter. I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> if this video had only the audio, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between Cumberbatch and Alan Rickman. The last time I was on this show, you said to me, was I aware that people impersonated me? <laughs> then I heard that the very next night, Benedict Cumberbatch and you oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> had what is described as a Rickmanoff. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth's task was to impersonate Captain Jack Sparrow, and he did it quite decently. There's none of this set in the middle of the server there, and it's from um, Taika? But Tessa Thompson thought it was Taika Waititi, and I guess we can't blame her for that. I hadn't tried, so I wrote a short film, I was like, I'll give this a go. And uh, pfft, that short film got nominated for an Oscar, well, uh, who cares? <laughs> Didn't win. And by the way, Jake Gyllenhaal shows Captain Jack Sparrow makes me doubt he has ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> 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 okay. What the f just happened this there? <laughs> now, let's recall how Chris Hemsworth sounds. Enjoying being in Australia. Um, I've been away for a while and I'm going to be here for a bit now, so I'm excited. I'm excited to be home. Good luck finding any difference between that and the impression of him by Chris Pratt. You know, mate, I was working this guy. <clears throat> Did I? Always oh. a, a, bit of a, a bit of a tall guy. Uh, close, close. Uh, he's a bit of a surfer. Tom Hiddleston is a big fan of the movie Heat with Robert De Niro. There's a flip side to that coin. What if you do got me boxed in? So, when he met the Italian, he didn't hesitate to show his version of Neil McCulley. 
What if you do got me boxed in? <laughs> I'm not gonna put you down. <laughs> Moving face to face. In that scene, one of the most iconic in the history of cinema, there was another legendary actor, Al Pacino. Sit here. You and I are like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. Tom was happy to impersonate him as well, and he really nailed it. We're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. Brother, you are going down. <laughs> Mark Hamill was sharing stories from the Star Wars set and smoothly slipped in an impression of his colleague Harrison Ford. All through it, and he turns to me and says, Hey, kid, it ain't that kind of movie. <laughs> Seems like a decent impression, right? Wearing a leather jacket in the jungle. Isn't it hot here? But Ford himself does not agree, saying... And next time I saw him, he said, Hey, I don't sound anything like that. <laughs> Here is the advice Arnold Schwarzenegger gave to Will Smith when they first met. If you're going to be a movie star, <laughs> the movies can't only be successful in America. Sounds similar? I mean, you have to be able to struggle, and if you're not able to, work on that. What do you think? Anyway, that's way better than Karen Gillan's impression of Arnold. <laughs> Wait a second, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Sounds more like a vomiting frog. <laughs> Jamie Foxx is truly a brave man. When it comes to impressions, he chooses the greatest boxers in history. He also understands that. Yeah, Jay Foxx, I understand what's going on. You know, all time, they, they, they want me to follow Jay Foxx, but that's what keeps me competitive. That's what, I, you know, all time. Easy work, light work. Listen, don't, I don't like when people, don't y'all hate with this? Somebody text you. They text you, you call them right back down. He fearlessly parodied Floyd Mayweather right next to him. <laughs> and he wasn't afraid to take on the iconic Mike Tyson. Hi, this is Mike Tyson. <laughs> So welcome to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, can I get chicken, uh, chicken and biscuit again from Slaw? And it was just a lot of um, altitude, and it was just unbelie unbelievable hype in a full fight. Doc Rivers has one of the most distinctive voices in the NBA. If you want to be champions, you know you're going to get hit, all right? You got to keep punching. We can win this game. It makes him a frequent target for impersonations. I gotta get out there, I'm gonna go take some lozenges and get ready for the game, you know? But I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you just, you just have to, you, you have to play. Can you guess which basketball player Jamie Foxx is impersonating? <laughs> Of course, it's LeBron James. <laughs> if Jim Carrey recorded a death metal album, would you buy it? I certainly would, after hearing his impression of Napalm Death. And what about a remake of Rocky with Jim Carrey? Ten years ago in my house. Huh? What's the matter? You don't like my house? No way, father. You just want to, you miss. You miss. You miss. Yeah, I do all my own stunts, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, see, I'm not even supposed to be here, you know, but I can't. I was a stripper, you know. This is how Will Smith sees Cardi B. Would you guess it was her? Like, and that's something that I never asked for. Mm -hmm. I never thought that it was such a big deal. Sean Connery's voice and accent are so famous that more than many stars have taken their shot at an imitation. Like uh, many of you watching the films of Cecil B. DeMille, in whose name this award is given. Some more coffee, please. Can I have some more coffee with Jodie Comer? Oh, the one hell? Well, if it isn't Harper Grace, come give me, come give Papa a kiss, Harper. Hello, this is Sean Connery. <laughs> 
to uh, Ed Lamato, please. <laughs> After getting to know each other while working on Wolverine, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman became close friends, and Ryan learned to talk like Hugh. Um, I don't like Ryan Reynolds at all. Hugh He's Jackman. An absolute cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In just five seconds, Martin Loris guessed who Will Smith was impersonating. Yo, son, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's like, yo, when you come to Miami, you gotta, you gotta come see oh, DJ Khaled. Yeah. Was it that good, though? Be ready. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Miami, DJ Khaled, we the best. And, and I appreciate y'all coming out here hanging out with Thank me. you. Chris Pratt's wife really loves Towie, a reality show that follows some people living in Essex. Like, you know, I don't know, it's just a little bit like you were digging me out a little bit. Like, well, I said oh, that's know, actually like... digging you out. That's why Chris Pratt learned to mimic the Essex accent perfectly. Honestly, did like, like Michael cheat on me when he was in a beef art, and I was like, I miss you, or whatever, and I'm like, you like, miss me? What, what about your mother? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Share in the comments which of the impressions you like the most and if you can do any impersonations yourself. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And see you in the next video.